Hello and a big welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue the premiere of Sim Survivor Battle of Bellomicia and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who watch my videos. I am grateful and I hope you enjoy the show. Previously on Survivor Battle of Bellomicia, the game officially begins as Brains, Brawn and Beauty set off to their tribes. Relationships were made right off the bat, especially between Iman and Cameron as well as the youngsters of the Brawn tribe. Drama also erupted fairly quickly between Rohan and Zack, and basically the half of the Beauty tribe. The hidden immunity idols were put into play and they were found by Mina from Sesos, Shima from Fuete, and Cory from La Bea. Cory also started a cooking fire the next morning and sent the whole beauty tribe up in flames. Like legit, everyone was stressed. How will the tribes perform at their first immunity challenge and who will be the first person voted out of Survivor Battle of Bellomicia? Find out shortly after the intro. Welcome back and thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, I won't show the intro all the time, just in these early episodes and some episodes when the cast needs to be reminded of. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue to watch the tribes interact on day 2 of this game. On the Brains tribe, the women of the tribe seem to be banding together. Oh my god, girls alliance? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. We love to see women stick together. <coughs> Beauty tribe. Also, this puts Iman in an amazing position on this tribe. I think she has an alliance with everyone. Rate Zack's pettiness out of 10. <laughs> Men rather cook a whole new meal instead of eating Rohan's burgers. <laughs> is this shade? Well, uh, at least Rohan is enjoying his work of art. Hey, what a coincidence! The Labea tribe is also making some lunch. <gasps> Oh, what has the... <gasps> Cheyenne, what have these sausages ever done to you? <laughs> um, uh, thanks, Cory. That, that's really helpful. Cherry! Cherry, stop! <laughs> oh my, why y'all keep making more food when someone's already made some? Oh my god, they are not leaving this poor girl alone. Let her live. L let her eat at least. On the contrary, still all good vibes over here at the Fuete tribe. Ew, don't just fan your fart all over the camp. Disgusting. Uh, it's refreshing to see some uh, positive relationships around camp, though. Tanoba, Doror, Lasara, Kasid. The Brown Tribe is taking it really easy, <laughs> and all this swimming is making them fitter than ever. <gasps> oh, oh my God! Darnell just lashed out at Shima. Oh, Rochelle's evening sadness has set in. <gasps> oh, is Rohan going to go cheer her up? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Why is this so cute? Honestly, besides Zack and Rohan, the rest of this tribe is pretty peaceful. Baby Ponka. With Weevil Bebso. What a gore. <laughs> oh my god, a pleasant conversation between Cheyenne and Cherry. Well, call me surprised. <gasps> oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> Do you know how awful of a human being you must be to piss Queen Mermaid Nalani off? I don't think she has a mean bone in her body, but you know, Kevin must have planted one there. <laughs> oh, yep, this is all going out of control right now. <gasps> oh, Cory fights back! Yeah, stand up for yourself, Cory. Salim is literally the only person that's happy on this tribe right now. <laughs> Everyone is in a bad, bad mood. Hey, Swarcelatuni. Squire Borbahe. 
Zaparo Pondal, Bruja de Lopa. <laughs> Just hizzle. Wow, it's like really late now. Like all the stars. <gasps> oh my gosh, and even though this how beautiful the silver the radiant skies are. Wow. Uh, uh yeah, looks like these are the only three people left awake right now. Oh my god, I've never seen an alliance made based on the time of day. This is uh, pretty fun to witness. Alright, playtime's over. Now really get some rest before immunity tomorrow. Also, Nalani slept in her tent tonight, so my game can actually jump to hyperspeed. Oh my god, hi! Cameron is our early riser of today. Uh, yep, off you go. Shima! Shima! Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> she is in her angry morning mood. <laughs> oh my gosh, those poor onions. Same old story here on the La Bea tribe with Kevin absolutely tearing into his tribe mates as soon as he wakes up. Well, it is time for our first immunity challenge. Look at them go. Now, a very familiar face is gonna come explain today's challenge to all of you. So, take it away, Nate. What's up, f***ers? Did you miss me? Mini hoosers, let's get to our first immunity challenge of the season. Two members from each tribe will first take turns clearing the bramble with their bare hands to unlock the first gate. Once the whole tribe passes through, they'll each perform a swan dive into the murky waters and swim to the other side. Once the whole tribe is on the mat, the next two members of the tribe will scour the sand pit for two seashells or treasures of any kind and place them on the pedestals to open up the next gate. Once the tribe is through, the final two members of the tribe must craft a knife block and then light a fire to signal their completion. First two tribes to finish will win immunity and guarantee their safety from tribal council. In addition to immunity, you're also competing for a reward. Fire is your best friend out here in the wilderness, so the first tribe to finish will get a fire pit with six stone chairs. The second tribe to finish will get a fire pit with six wooden chairs. They catch fire a little easier. The last tribe to finish will get a trip to tribal council, where somebody will be the first person voted out of the game. Okay, looks like every tribe has chosen their members. Survivors ready? And go! Okay, okay, looks like Salem is kicking it off for the La Bea tribe, Shima for Fuerte, and Mina for Sesos. Hustle, survivors, hustle! Our Tiger Mom is giving these brambles a piece of her hands. Oh, that looks so painful. Shima is determined. She is untangling these brambles. Oh, and then there's poor Salim. <laughs> he is uh, not having a good time. Go, go, go! Glad I'm not doing this. Oh, it looks like Shima's done with her half, and Elliot goes for the Bron tribe. Salim's done. <gasps> Mina's also done! Cory's going next, and Iman goes too. The heat is on. Iman is giving these brambles all she got, and even Elliot with his um, little twinkle bot is not slowing down. <laughs> Cory is uh, also not having a good time though. I love watching the first immunity challenge. It really shows you what these tribes are made of. <gasps> oh, that's the music. Who's done? Who? <gasps> Iman! Wow, the brain tribe are moving on first through these gates. But wait, Braun just finished and they are right behind them. Come on, beauties. Now's the time. Oh, yes. They're heading through as the brains begin their dive. Oh, Cameron. Uh, I said a swan dive, man. Not... <laughs> Whatever this was. Well, uh, as the brains fight to keep their lead, everyone is heading for the swan dives now. Uh, well, all except Darling, I guess. <laughs> and Splatchy goes. <laughs> She's so cute. Damn, the Fuerte tribe have already caught up to the Cecil's tribe. Those swimming skills are no joke. Wow, they are neck and neck. Beauty tribe, let's go! I mean, you have Nalani for goodness sake, she's literally a mermaid. Whoop, looks like Cecil's is ready to move on. Alright, Rochelle and Cameron are doing us some digging today. And looks like Fuerte is about ready too. I love seeing Cory constantly spiral because of his tribe. <laughs> uh, who else? Oh, Lee. Okay, off you go. Come on, Cheyenne, time is ticking. <gasps> That's a good sound. Cameron found a scallop shell. That's adorable. Okay, now go put it down. Uh, Rochelle, you keep digging, woman. Dig for the win, everybody. 
Mokowa has no luck in the sand, and neither does Lee. Whew. Keep going, y'all. <gasps> what? No way. They both already found the shells. I'm gagging. They really just did that. Oh, <laughs> sadly, baby turtles don't count, so keep digging, woman. Meanwhile, the beauties are already through the second gate and onto their final station. That is an insane comeback. Hoo wee, keep going, you guys. As Cheyenne and Kevin start the final part of the challenge, Rochelle is not having a good time. <laughs> Well, uh, what matters is you don't give up, which I recognize is not a good thing to say, especially in times like these. Who would have thought the Labea tribe would be in the lead for this challenge at all? Kevin and Cheyenne are both working hard to win them some fire, at least I hope. <laughs> oh, <gasps> Rochelle, yay! Okay, go put it down, Rochelle, unlock that gate. All right, brains are... <gasps> You got the goods for it there? Oh, they do. They both got the goods. Damn. Look at Mina taking her time. Like, they ain't competing right now. Um, um, you can you can stop searching. Please. Oh, oh my god. Whew. Okay, go unlock the gate. Yes, that's it for it there. You are not out of this just yet. The heat is really, really on now. <laughs> so we have Zack and Rohan, our arch nemesis, doing the final part, huh? Darnell and Darling are hoping to pull through for the Brawn tribe, and we still have Cheyenne and Kevin working hard. They should be halfway done by now. This is so intense. <laughs> it really could be anyone's game right now. Who will be the first to finish? Their tribe mates can only watch. <gasps> Zack? Is, is this for real? <gasps> Wow, he really finished. Zack pulls ahead and finishes for the Cecil Strive. <laughs> Wait, Kevin! A hagnail? Really? Go back, you ain't done. Oh. Cheyenne finishes though and pulls ahead for the Beauty Tribe. Kevin, listen. Why did I ever cast this man as contestant? He is clearly not built for this. Uh, well, we have to. We have two tribes tied for first now, since they each have a member completing the challenge. Oh my gosh, darling, finished hers. We are all even right now. One member from each tribe has completed their challenge. We are looking for a winner. <gasps> Rohan. Wow, the brains tribe are really about to finish the challenge right now. And done! Cecil's wins immunity! But we'll come back to you later. We are looking for one more tribe. Who's it gonna be? Jeez, it's been forever. Cecil's fires have already gone out. And so has your tribe needs fires. Oh! Kevin! You're almost there, buddy. Come on. Oh, freaking finally. Let's go, Darnell. Finish strong. Hey, that's the spirit. We so proud of you, you sad, sad cowboy. <laughs> well, that is our first immunity challenge. Sesos, you displayed phenomenal teamwork, and you have earned yourselves a nice fire pit with some stone seating and immunity from tribal council. Labea, an uh, interesting turn of events today for sure, but you get to take the evening off as well. Just don't start anything, please. <laughs> Fuete, we were all rooting for you. <sighs> Sadly, you came in last in this immunity challenge, which means I will see all of you at Tribal Council tonight, where you will vote somebody out of this game. Long day ahead for you guys, so head back to camp, and I will see you tonight. Braun Tribe lost, and it is time to really talk strategy. Oh, yep, uh, they're on the move now. Oh, Lee, 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 the challenge is over. You can chill now. <laughs> Darnell could be on the hot seat since, like, he basically lost the tribe the challenge. Harsh, but it's facts, okay? Well, looks like Darnell is sticking with Shima out of all people in today's vote. I really thought he hated her. <laughs> and on the other side of this uh, pool, looks like Makoa could be siding with the young ones for tonight's vote. 
Everyone's just talking around this pond now. <laughs> they are not subtle like at all. Looks like Darnell is trying really hard to make people laugh and forgive him for his uh, mistakes. And it looks like it's working. <gasps> Shima! Shima, dear, now's not the time to be yelling at your tribe mates. Because tribal's uh, like around the corner. Who is she even yelling at? I mean, I guess, but still. <gasps> Lee? <gasps> oh, Lee is fighting back! A queen! Damn, I already know this is gonna be an explosive tribal council. Uh, the sun's already setting, and these people are still here, like, treading water and chatting, like... Damn, they're so fit. <laughs> Darnell has literally been entertaining the masses for hours. <laughs> Man is working hard to not have his name written down. It's almost time for tribal, and Lee is checking in with our lovely darling to make sure they're on the same page. Meanwhile, Shima seems to be trying to lock in Elliot to be on her side. ho. <laughs> Well, it is time for Tribal. Let's get down to business, people. Wow, Tribal Council. This place really hits different at night. <laughs> Welcome to Tribal Council, Fuete. Tonight, you will have to vote one of your tribe members out of this game. Darling, you are up. Have to vote. If anybody has a hidden immunity item or an advantage and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Shima gets up. Thank you, Shima. This is a hidden immunity idol, so all votes cast for Shima will not count. I will now read the votes. First vote, Shima does not count. Second vote, Shima does not count. Third vote, Shima does not count. Fourth vote, Shima does not count. Ooh, we still don't have any votes. Next vote, Lee. That's one vote, Lee. One vote left. First person voted out of Sim Survivor Battle of Bellomysia, and it pains me to say this, Lee. That's two votes, that is enough. Time for you to go. Oh, uh, Lee is someone I was rooting for to go very far in the game, but sadly, this is just not her time. As for the remaining 5 of you, congrats on staying another day! Head back to camp, rest well, and good night! Here are the votes cast by each tribe member. These will be shown at the end of each episode. And can I just say how freaking upset I am that Lee is the first one gone? Like, damn girl, we were all rooting for you. Uh, great play by Shima, but still, like, I'm sorry, I'm just already attached to this sims. Oh, uh, and that little cliffhanger at the end? I ain't saying anything, but feel free to speculate. <laughs> wink wink. Thank you for watching this two-part premiere! Be sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it, and comment down all your favorite moments and predictions for this season. As always, make sure to take good care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!